Greetings. This is a special day. I'm preparing spots to plant the American chestnuts that I sprouted over the winter in the refrigerator. Here in the West Garden, where I actually have a lot of vegetables growing now, it's filled with squash and sweet potatoes mainly at this point and onions. I better stop. Anyways, chestnuts. I have some amazing news, unexpected news. It turns out that the grandmother of all of these chestnuts has managed somehow to survive for another growing season. She's been fighting the blight now for about 10 years, which is just shocking. I was tending to some of the young chestnut trees in the forest yesterday, and I looked at her expecting her to be dead. And lo and behold, when I was looking at the suckers coming out at the bottom of the tree and I gazed upward, what did I see? One branch again, just like last year, somehow surviving. And if you look at the trunk of the tree far below that branch, it's got massive patches where the bark is just gone. And if you look above that branch, far up to the top of the tree. It's dead, utterly dead. There's nothing but bare wood. But somehow that one branch, once again, is thriving, which is great news because that means that hopefully she will produce flowers and cross-pollinate with the Miracle Sisters tree just down the way, a little ways. And look at the difference. Look at the bottom of the Miracle Sisters tree going up, just perfectly healthy, joined alongside of that beautiful big red oak. And up at the top, just filled with lush foliage. So hopefully, there will be lots of baby chestnuts next year as a result of another fruitful season. Here's hoping. So in the meantime, back here in the West Garden, I'm just clearing out some more of these Virginia creeper vines that like to spread throughout here. It's hard to... There you go. I'm cutting them with the hoe so only little pieces come out, but it forms a network all throughout this whole area. So I'm trying to eliminate as much of this as possible. And the raspberries and the thimbleberries, there's just everything trying to grow here. This is a raspberry here. But I'm getting it under control. So I'm going to plant these three here almost in a row and it's got beautiful sun exposure and it's along this well-drained hillside here that leads down to the pond. I think they're going to do very well here. But in the meantime, I'm going to get to work now and switch from the hoe to the shovel. And put this one right here. I've got to get to work doing natural work for the benefit of us all. <laughs> 